gold, Babylon, chest and the arms of silver, Medo-Persia, the belly and the thighs of brass, Greece, legs of iron, Rome, the feet and the toes of iron and clay, the divided kingdoms of Europe, which of course have spread out to this world. But the prophecy went on. What happens next as Daniel is still explaining to King Nebuchadnezzar about this prophecy? Daniel 2 verse 44, the Bible says, And in the days of these kings, in other words, the divided nations of this world, shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. You see, friends, this is a prophecy that affects every one of us on this earth. Because we are right down at the end of this prophecy. And the Bible says, at the end of this prophecy, in the toenails of time, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed. God will have a kingdom at the end of this prophecy. This tells us, friends, where we are in time. You see, friends, this world we live in today will not always be the way it is. God is going to set up his own world empire. And this world empire, this kingdom called the kingdom of heaven, will last forever. Nobody else is going to come and overthrow it. The kingdom of God will last forever. All through the Bible, especially the New Testament, it talks about this kingdom that God will set up. A kingdom where there will be peace, joy, eternal life and happiness. The kingdom of heaven as it's known by. And we are living in the very day when that kingdom will be set up. The kingdom of heaven. You know, friends, as we look at this tonight, as we go through the stream of time, as we see how God has outlined the kingdoms of this world, how we've been able to decipher what the imagery really means, and we come right down to the end of time, and God says, in the days of these kings, I will set up a kingdom. It will last forever. It will destroy the kingdoms of this world. You know, friends, a great question we must ask ourselves tonight is this. Is will you and I be part of God's kingdom? Will you be a citizen in the kingdom of God? Will you be part of the kingdom of heaven? The kingdom that Jesus Christ is soon to set up on this earth? Because that great rock that comes out of nowhere and destroys the image is Jesus Christ. All through the Bible, the Bible refers to Jesus Christ and God as the rock of our salvation. That rock will destroy the kingdoms of this world, the sadness, the suffering and the sin, and it will set up a kingdom where peace and joy and life will reign forever. And the question is, friend, will you be part of that kingdom? Yeah, God is extending his hand to you and I tonight. He's saying, I want you to be part of that kingdom. You know, when Jesus Christ was dying upon the cross of Calvary, the Bible tells us there were two thieves that were crucified with him. One of those thieves on one side began to mock and laugh and scorn, where the other thief recognized that Jesus Christ was the Savior of the world. He recognized that this man dying upon the cross was the Son of God. And he said to Jesus, he said, Lord, remember me, notice these words, when you come into your kingdom. He recognized that Jesus Christ would have a kingdom. He knew he would have a kingdom. He was dying. He said, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The Bible tells us in Luke 23, verse 42, that Jesus looked at this thief and he said, Thou shalt be with me in paradise. You see, friends, God is calling to us tonight. God is asking you and I, would you like to be part of that kingdom? If we would just be like the thief, if you and I would just say like the thief, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom, Jesus would say, thou shalt be with me in paradise. He wants each one of us to be there, friends. He has given us this particular prophecy, which is an amazing prophecy, outlining the kingdoms, the major kingdoms of this world to the day in which you and I live, which tells us that we are living in the toenails of time. And he's asking us to be part of his eternal kingdom. You know, Daniel finishes with these words. In Daniel 2, verse 45, he says this to the king. Notice his words. He says, The dream is certain and the interpretation thereof sure. Two and a half thousand years ago, Daniel says to the king, The dream is certain, the interpretation thereof is sure. And we can look back two and a half thousand years and say that's exactly right. The dream was certain, the interpretation was sure, and we are right down now at the end of this world. Friends, just as surely as there was a Babylon, 
just as surely as there was a Medo-Persia, just as surely as there was a Greece and a Rome, just as surely as there was the, is the divided kingdoms of this world, so too will God set up his eternal kingdom. Everything in this prophecy has taken place except one point, Jesus Christ coming to this world to set up his eternal kingdom that he wants you and I to be part of. You know, friends, we've noticed tonight from this prophecy, I believe, that the world we live in is not in the hands of human beings. Even though there can be chaos and disaster on every side, God has shown us his hand is in the hand of history. He is the one turning the pages of the history of this world. And you and I should be able to, through this one particular prophecy, have a greater confidence and trust in the word of God and in God himself. You and I can rest securely in the knowledge that God is in control. Now tonight we have seen we are living in the day when God will set up his kingdom. But exactly how close are we to that time? How close are we to this taking place? Maybe it'll be another thousand years away. Who knows? Do we know, can we tell, if the second coming of Christ and this eternal kingdom being set up is close at hand? Can you and I tell if we are closer? Well, tomorrow night in our next lecture, we are going to see that we are right at the end of time. Our next meeting is entitled Time Running Out. What are world events telling us? Why are there so many disasters? Is time running out for planet Earth? May God bless you and we'll see you tomorrow evening. Good night. Good night. 